Okay, so let us talk about this first phase, all right, first event which will occur that is pre penetration. Now, in pre penetration, what happens when the spore comes in contact with a plant? For example, here, suppose this is the leaf of a plant and the spore of uh, microorganisms such as fungi or bacteria they come in contact with the host plant what will happen first when these spores right of the pathogen comes in contact with the plant they will start to germinate and lead to the formation of a germ tube i had explained about this when we talk about uh, the life cycle of poxinia graminis triticae if you remember if you have uh, watched that explanation i had talked about this formation of the germ tube because it is through the help of this germ tube that the spore will penetrate through the plant all right suppose in a leaf it might enter through the stomata or through the wound or through uh, through the plant itself now here what happened when the germ tube when a spore it comes in contact with a suitable host plant now the physical factors such as temperature and moisture and also the biological factors such as the exudates the plant exudates all these they influence spore germination all right they will help in the formation of a germ tube all right and here what are exudates temperature and moisture you understand physical factors biological factors exudates are those substances which are released from the roots of the plants all right the roots of the plants they use to produce substances such as uh, organic uh, substances all right organic substance and other substances produced from the plants are referred to as exudates now with the help of these exudates and also the physical factors such as temperature and moisture they help in the formation of this germ tube that is in spore germination for example here the i will give you one example of a fungi that is pythium all right this is a fungi now this pythium it used to infect the turnip root all right so when the spore comes in contact with the plant the exudates produced by the roots of the turnip all right these exudates these substances produced by the roots of the turnip they stimulated the spore germination of pythium and also some other plants like orange peel onion potato all those they reduce spore germination all right you see the these exudates they affect the spore germination they will either influence they will either uh, stimulate the spore to germinate or they may reduce spore germination for example in turnip like i had mentioned just now in turnip the spore of pythium the exudates which produce from the root of the turnip they stimulate the spore germination of pythium whereas for example in orange other plants like orange uh, sorry orange peel then onion potato all these plants all right the exudates which are produced by these plants they inhibit the spore germination so when the spores of pythium they come in contact with these all right they will not be able to germinate or form germ tube because those exudates which are produced from these they inhibit the spore germination they reduce spore germination all right so that is why it depends now when i say like pythium it is a pathogen of turnip it might not be a pathogen for these it cannot infect these so it's not like all microorganisms they are pathogen to all the plants all right it differs from species to species now you have already studied about early blight or late blight disease cause uh, in early blight you know that a disease is caused by 
Alternaria sulanae. Alright, so this Alternaria sulanae, it causes early blight in tomato and potato in solanaceous crops, but not in other crops. Alright, because of these, because all these, they influence the growth or the spore formation of these pathogen. So, it depends from plant to plant species and also it depends on all these factors. Alright, so this is happening before the, when the spore comes in contact with the plant. Now, even uh, apple all right example of uh, an apple you know that the leaf it it is uh, silky smooth due to the waxy leaf surfaces all right the leaf surface of apple is waxy and other plants all right why it is waxy because they produce these uh, waxy substances all right and these waxy substances they inhibit all right, they inhibit the spore formation. So suppose these spore, they come in contact with the apple leaf, they will not be able to germinate. All right, because of the presence of these waxy substances which inhibit the spore germination. And even the malic acid, all right, this substance malic acid which are secreted by some plant species all right some plants some leaves of the plants they produce this malic acid and this malic acid it inhibits all right the spore germination of this species mycosphericella mycosphericella this species, all right, suppose it produces spores and these spores, they come in contact with the host which produce this malic acid, then it will not be able to germinate. All right, so thus you can see that spore germination is, a, is either, uh, it depends on all these physical and biological factors. All right, so now spore germination, you you should remember that spore germination, it is accompanied by the growth of the germ tube, influenced not only by the environment, all right, environment meaning the physical factors, but also by the nature of substances secreted by the plants, not only the plants and other organisms present. All right, suppose this is the root of this plant. Now from the soil, inside the soil, many microorganisms are present. Some are good for the plant and some are pathogen. So these pathogens, suppose they come in contact here with the root of the plant. Even if the exudates of the plant does not affect the germination of this, but these microorganisms which are good for the plant also, they produce something. And those substances produced by these microorganisms, they might block the germination of this pathogen. Alright, so not only the exudates of the plant, but also the substances produced by other microorganisms present in the plant.